going on guys in this video we are going to see an example on application of first order differential equation in newton's law of cooling let's look at this problem right here this problem states that a cup of coffee at 190 degree fahrenheit is left in a room of 70 degree fahrenheit at time t is equal to zero the coffee is cooling at 15 degree fahrenheit per minute and the first question is asking find the function that models the cooling of the coffee and the second question asking how long will it take for the temperature to reach 143 degree Fahrenheit? Now let's list all the given information. So this is our generic equation for the Newton's law of cooling, right? That's given by this, this dt by dt. So this is the temperature change due with respect to time. And k is a constant and this t represents the temperature of the cooling object. And this c represents temperature of the surrounding. Now here we have 180 degree Fahrenheit that is temperature of the cooling object so that's going to be our T. T is equal to 190 degree Fahrenheit and uh, in the room temperature that's 70 degree Fahrenheit so this is going to be the temperature of the surrounding so C is equal to 70 degree Fahrenheit and then T is equal to 0 then we have this cooling at 15 degree per Fahrenheit per minute so dt by the temperature change due to time is 15 degree Fahrenheit and we have to be careful about the unit this is in minute right so this is dt by t and that is 15 degree Fahrenheit per minute okay now we have all this information now the first question is asking find the function that models the cooling of the coffee so when they ask for the model function model, they are asking for this one right here. This thing, like we have to bring this pattern. Now in order to do this one, first of all we have to figure out our k value, this constant value. To do that I am going to apply this equation. Let's go ahead and plug all the values in this equation and see what we can get from that. And we know that dt by dt is, actually I should put a negative here because this is cooling at 15 degree Fahrenheit per minute because the temperature is decreasing it means this is a negative sign so I had to put a negative right here so the equation is going to be negative 15 is going to be equal to negative k times t is 190 degree Fahrenheit so this is going to be 190 minus c is surrounding temperature that's going to be 70 and therefore we will get minus 15 is equal to negative k 190 minus 70 is going to be 120 therefore k is going to be equal to negative 15 negative negative cancels because we have negative both sides so that cancels this is going to become 15 over 120 so that's going to become we know that uh, 15 times 6 is 90 so this is going to become 8, 8 right 1 over 8 so this is 1 over 8 and 1 over 8 is equal to 0 0.125 so we found out the k value now the next thing is we have to bring this in uh, bring this one into bring this uh, equation into this pattern so to do that what we, what we are going to do is we are going to use this equation and uh, when I use this equation you will see that, that this equation is separable now let's go ahead and plug the values so I'm going to keep everything as it is except this k value I'm going to plug the k value other than that I'm going to keep other things as a normal thing normal except also I'm going to plug this 70 because we have dt and t so separable mean like we, we have to integrate right so we have to keep this dt and t as it is this capital D remains the same so dt also remains the small t also remains as it is and negative k we know that k value that is 0 0.125 and t we keep as it is minus c is surrounding temperature that is 70 and that's it now from this one we can see that this is a separable equation so we can separate and integrate right so we can do the separation right now I'm gonna bring this dt to this side 
and this t over minus t minus 170 to the other side because we have to bring the like terms to one side so we can do the integration now let's continue this one right here this is going to be dt by t minus 170 t minus 70 and in the other side we are going to have negative 0 0.125 small dt okay now we can do the integration if we integrate this one this is going to become ln of t minus 70 and the other side we are going to have integration of this one is going to be negative 0 0.125 t now to get rid of this ln we can take e power both side and also I had to put a constant right here c let's say c1 okay now we have to to get rid of this ln I'm going to take e power both side so if I take e power this side that's going to become t minus 70 and if I take e power this side this is a let's think as a bracket so if I take a, I can write this one as e power minus 0 0.125 t times e power c1 and e power c1 is still a constant right so we can also we can let uh, e power c1 is equal to a another constant and write that one as this now we can see that we are almost reaching this pattern so let's plug this value and see what we get this is going to become t minus 70 and then instead of this one I plug a because we let e power c1 is equal to a so we can write a times e power minus 0.125 t and then we can write t as a times e power negative 0.125 t plus constant and that's going to be 70 right here right I move this negative 70 to this side so this is going to become plus 70 but here we have to do one more thing we have to figure out this a value in order to give the final function model now in order to do this one I have to get some space let's get rid of this one okay so here what I'm gonna do is we know that t of 0 is equal to when time is equal to 0 we know that uh, the temp cooling temperature temperature of the cooling object was 190 degree so we can use that information to plug it in this equation I'm going to bring this equation right here t is equal to t of 0 is equal to a e power minus 0 0.125 t plus 70 and we know that t of 0 is equal to 190 so we can plug that one right here 190 is equal to a e power negative 0 0.125 t plus 70 and I can move this 70 to the other side that's going to become 120 right because 190 minus 70 is going to be 120 120 is going to be equal to a e power minus 0 0.125 t and uh, now to get rid of this uh, e power this we can take ln both side and since we are taking time is equal to 0 I should have plugged this time 0 in that way we can get rid of this e power because e power 0 is going to be 1 right so this is going to be 1 and from this one we know that a is going to be 120 because 120 a times 1 because e power 0 is going to be 1 right so this is a times 1 therefore a is going to be 120 now we can go ahead and write our final model that's going to look like this t of t is equal to 120 e power negative 0 0.125 t plus 70 so this is going to be the answer for the first part now let's look at the second part second part is asking how long will it take for the temperature to reach 143 degree Fahrenheit now we have the equation for the this uh, cooling of this coffee right function model for the cooling of this coffee so we can use this equation to figure out this one right now get, let's get rid of this area right here 
So we have enough space to solve this problem. Okay. Now I continue with the B part right here. Okay, we have this function that is t of t is equal to 120 e power this one and here the question is time and also they have given the t of t t of t here is 143 degree Fahrenheit so let's write this one down t of t here is 140 143 degree Fahrenheit so we can write 143 is equal to 120 e power negative 0 0.125 t plus 70 now let's subtract this one 143 minus 70 that's going to become 73 is equal to 120 e power negative 0 0.125 t and this is we can move this 120 to this side so this is going to become 73 over 120 is equal to e power negative 0 0.125 t now to get rid of this e we can take ln on both sides so this is going to become ln of 73 over 120 and here in the other side we are going to have ln of e power minus 0.125 t and ln and e both cancels each other so finally we are going to end up with negative 0.125 t I get, okay I separate this one negative 0.125 t is going to be equal to ln of ln of 73 three point actually three seventy three over one twenty therefore t is going to be equal to ln of seventy three over one twenty divided by negative zero point one two five t right and from this one ln is seventy three over one twenty and you can see that uh, this value is definitely going to be smaller than one so the ln value is going to be negative right so the time is going to be positive negative over negative that's going to become positive and if you calculate this one you should get 3.98 minutes and that's how long it's going to take to cool down to this temperature and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching